Hello and welcome to Owen TV. Today we have a special programme looking at the life and works of Wilfred Owen. He was born on the 18th of March 1893. He was a great war poet and a soldier in the First World War. Well, what makes him one of the most well-known poets today? Owen wrote one of the, some of the most realistic war poetry displaying the horrors of trenches and gas warfare which he then deglorified and exposed to the reality of today. What is an example of this? We now cut to Alex in the University of Owen with Professor Sampson. Thanks, Doike. I'm here with Professor Sampson at the University of Owen. Um, he's going to talk to us about one of Owen's most loved poems. What makes this poem so, uh, so special? The, the suspense that he creates to make the reader into thinking that something will happen, but nothing happens. He cleverly uses words to express the feelings of the soldiers and to portray the, the, the deep feelings that, that, of sadness that they have in their hearts. He uses illustrations such as pale flakes come feeling for our faces, using the, the effort to, to su suggest how long it has been since the soldiers have seen their loved ones, their families, their homes. Their Who is the uh, enemy in the poem? The enemy in a, in a poem, I would say, is the nature. And Chloe Owen uses personification to use, personify the nature as the greatest enemy that soldiers will ever have. How does this show the real conditions of the war? Well, Alex, um, it just shows how, how dirty, how dreadful, how just disgusting the war was to all the soldiers in the war, and um, especially in the winter times, I must say. I'm sorry, we're out of time. We've got to go back to Doigo in the studio. Thanks for that. I'm here today at Woodhouse College to gain some views on what people know about Wilfred Owen. So what does the people in Woodhouse College know about Wilfred Owen today? Let's ask someone. Excuse me, miss. Sorry. What do you know about Wilfred Owen? Wilfred who? Do you not know who Wilfred Owen is, miss? Look, I don't care what this is about. Sorry, do you have a sentence? Just, just one sentence, Just leave me alone. Is there anyone in this college that knows about Wilfred Owen? He's a very well-known poet. Let's ask someone else. Sorry, sir. Hi. I'm from Owen TV. Is it okay if I ask you a few questions? About? Wilfred Owen. What do you know about Wilfred Owen? Wilfred Owen? Oh, yeah, yeah, I know about Wilfred Owen. Um, one of his poems, Exposure, is actually one of my favourite, to be fair. And what do you like about the poem, sir? Um, well, Owen shows the, the experience and the realism of war instead of just the ideology of it. Owen uses a variety of techniques such as rhyme scheme, half rhyme, um, to slow down the pace of the poem, to in fact show the slowness of their page, which is, you know... That's very well. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. Back to studio. <laughs> Our brains ache in the merciless ice east winds that knive us. Wearied we keep awake because the night is silent. Low drooping flares confuse our memory of the sailor. Worried by silence, sentries whisper, curious, nervous. But nothing happens. Tonight this frost will fasten on this mud and us, shriveling many hands, puckering foreheads crisp. The burying party picks and shovels in shaking grass, pulls over half-known faces, all their eyes are ice, but nothing happens.